Good morning, I'm Gerhard Mathingani with today's Sports Brief. Both Alabama and Auburn are off this week, but the work continues on the practice field for the Tide and the Tigers. Second-ranked Alabama has looked about as good as any team can look after six games. The Tide defense posted its first shutout of the season against Mississippi State on Saturday, and head coach Nick Saban really likes the progress from that unit. I think we've gotten a little bit better each week. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of room for us to continue to have improvement. You know, we've got several young guys playing um, and those guys, you know, I think are developing more and more confidence in what they're supposed to do, how they're supposed to do it, why it's important to do it that way. Uh, so the mental errors are kind of going down and uh, we tackled better in the last game, which I thought, you know, the Ole Miss game was not very good. And I think we've tackled a little better in each game. So I think those things will be critical uh, in, you know, finishing. You know, we played a little better on third down the last couple of weeks, which is also important to getting off the field, not letting people extend drives on you. So there has been improvement. There's a lot of things that uh, we definitely need to continue to get better at. Alabama will continue working through the bye week, and head coach Nick Saban says the special players find ways to improve. You know, everybody that I know that is a really, really good player, you know, always makes reference to uh, having a good coach. Uh, they welcome the critical eye of people watching them, correcting them. And uh, I think there's some ingredients that are important in that. And the first thing is you got to have humility. Um, so you got to be committed to wanting to be a much better player. And you got to have self awareness and willingness to know that there are things that you can do to get better. Uh, so you welcome the fact that somebody's there to, you know, help you do that and make corrections so that you can learn and grow and get better. Meanwhile, Auburn expects to heal up a few players in their open week. The Tigers are coming off the best win of the season over LSU on Saturday. And head coach Gus Malzahn hopes that they are one of the few teams in the country that makes a strong run at the end of the season. I think at times teams uh, play their best games towards the end of the year. And all those games you just talked about were really on the second half of the season. And I tell our team all the time, I mean, very few teams in college football continue to improve. Uh, you see it every year. I mean, some of them are playing lights out at the first and they kind of hit a plateau. And, you know, so we've always been one of those teams that pride ourselves on, I mean, we're going to be one of those teams, few teams that continue to improve. And really, so that's really our message here. And, um, you know, I think that's what you saw in the game six. We played our best game. Now we got to continue to to keep doing that. And finally, Alabama has finalized the nine games in its non-conference schedule. The title will start with in-state foe Jacksonville State in Tuscaloosa on November 25th. Should be an interesting matchup between the Tide and the Gamecocks. Up next, they'll play Stanford and then either North Carolina or UNLV in the revamped Maui Invitational. This year, that tournament will be played in Asheville, North Carolina. Later in December, the Tide faces Clemson in Atlanta in the holiday hoops giving event, then home games against Furman, Houston, and East Tennessee State to finish off the month. They'll take a break from league play to face Oklahoma in the SEC Big 12 Challenge in January. That's your Sports Brief this morning. Our program continues next.